Today we are talking about the importance of water and why everything on this earth needs it. From bathing, to drinking, to living in it like sea life, rain, snow, condensation from the sun. Why is water so important? Our bodies are 80% water. When you are on a mission of just your daily life, hydration is the most important thing. A lot of people, health problems start from not enough hydration. Do you understand the importance of hydration and why you have to drink water so you can go along your normal day? If you go to the gym, you get into the sauna, you have to rehydrate. Because your organs have to survive off water. I know some people say, you know, H3O is made for us. You can't bathe with fruit juice or any vegetable juice. You can drink it for nourishment. You can drink it for healing. Everything in the world that needs to be clean is always cleaned by water. Even if it's assisted by having soap. You have to use soap and detergent to wash. You always have to have water to make it clean. Water is the thing that everything on this earth needs. Why is it important to have this and why is it part of your healing? Well, anytime you take medication, herbs, your food, you have to chase it with water. It's important that when you eat your meal that you drink water with it. What does it do when you eat and drink water? Well, when you eat your food, the way your food digests better is chasing it with water. And the reason why, because water is the cleanser of the world. Any country, any any continent, it's always been like that. So when you are eating your food for healing, water is the main thing you need. I know there's reverse osmosis or alkaline water or infused water, water that's you got flavored water, you have water that's added with, you know, alkaline and nutrients. End of the day, we all need it. The ocean could not survive without water. If there was no sun and there was no condensation, we would not be able to survive because the whole entire planet needs condensation. We need water to drink, to bathe, to do everything in our normal lives. So how does this help your healing? Well, when you are in the process of healing, the main thing you want to always do, and this is important, you want to keep your colon clean and your organs hydrated. Why is that important? Because the organs need hydration so they can function properly, especially when you do stuff like when I drink beet juice. Even if you're drinking vegetable juice, you still have to drink the water to flush it through. You got to understand that a lot of times your fruit and your vegetable juices are detergents for the body. So when you juice or when you eat the vegetables and the fruit, it's, it's basically scrubs the colon. You need water for it to pass through. Water is the most important thing anywhere, no matter where you are on the planet. If you do neglect not having water in your daily routine, you will notice a lot of things would happen. If you don't bathe, you can get skin irritations, you can get rashes, you can get fungus. I mean, basically, you have to keep the skin clean. What a lot of people don't think about, they'll wash the outside of their body, but they don't really focus on washing the inside of the body. Why is it so important to have the outside of the body cleansed and the inside of the body cleansed? Because when you take a bath every day and you wash your skin, you keep your skin clean, you know, you, you put your oils and your lotions on and, and it hydrates your skin because you're treating the skin. Well, a lot of people, don't focus on the inside. You got to do the same thing to the inside. That's why I always say you are what you eat. What you put in your body, if you don't eat cleansing foods like vegetables and fruits, you know, a lot of times it's not cleaning the inside of the body. See, when you drink water and you eat, if you eat and you drink your water with your food, I know everybody has their own way of doing it. I personally eat and drink my water and my fluids together. The reason why I do it together, personally, I feel better when I eat and drink at the same time. And the reason why, because when I'm eating my food and I'm chewing it and then I chase it with water or juice, what happens, it helps it go down smoother. And when it goes in as a combination, it starts softening it up. See, when you eat and don't drink and you eat all your food first, once all your food is done and your meal is done, all the food usually goes in the way it is. 
The difference of when you're eating and drinking at the same time, you're moisturizing your food that's going down, which helps the digestive system digest faster compared to eating a whole meal and then chasing it with water and having to go through your system and through your small and large intestines and then soften the food up. So it's all to me, it's my personal my personal experience, it's just my belief. I eat and drink at the same time so my food can be basically softened. At the end of the day, when I do have movements and I have bowel movements, I clean my colon out pretty much all day. Every meal should be cleansed as the next meal comes in. So when you eat your first meal and then you eat your second meal, that meal is supposed to move the old food out for the new food. That's why if you do eat three meals a day, which I don't do, every time you eat something, it should always flush out the old food. If you're drinking the adequate amount of water, you should be having very, very good bowel movements every day. You shouldn't have these hard, you know, hard to pass through constipation. If you are having that problem, it's because you're not hydrated. See, your, your stool should always come out of your body soft and you should never be hard because if it's coming out smooth and soft, that means that you're hydrating the body regular and you're eating good. See, and your diet is everything too. So if you're eating bad foods, don't expect for your body to be good to you because especially if you're not drinking fluids, you're not drinking water, the main thing. You can drink juices and too. If you can drink juices and all that too, but see, if you drink juice, like vegetable juice and, and fruit juice and you don't drink water, you, a lot of times you will cramp, you'll get bloating, you'll get pains. If you do drink water after you eat, you should get a bowel movement. Now, if you don't believe it, try it. Because it makes common sense, but you have to look at food as not just being something just to eat. Now, if you're eating breads and eating burgers and eating a, you know, a lot of meat and you're not putting veggies and fruit in your body and you're just eating a whole lot of meat and you're not chasing it with any vegetables and fruit, you might have a bowel problem where you start getting like constipation because uh, you need the fruit and vegetables to clean through the system and, you, and that's why you, when you eat meat, and fish, you should be able to drink water and let that go through. And you got to drink a lot of water so you can be able to let the let the uh, your food pass through, so it, the acids can break it down and it gets ready for elimination. See, if you don't uh, prepare yourself for elimination, the whole thing about eating is is eating to nourish yourself. You know, when you're hungry, to you know, eat food to keep your nourishment. But then you also have to concentrate on drinking the right and eating the right foods to help it pass through. Even if you're a person that say, well, I want to eat meat. I, I can't stand, you know, vegetables and fruit. Well, you have to have something to let it pass through. So it's better to drink a lot of water. And if you drink water, especially if you drink it aggressively, it will push out. Now, that's just something you have to do like like animals who are carnivores, you know, they don't eat fr fruit and vegetables because they'll get sick because they're carnivores. But they still drink water. That's why usually if you're not drinking water, if an animal goes out somewhere in the wild and he can't find no water, basically he could, de you know, be dehydrated and die from not having enough water in the system. That's just part of life. Every creature just goes you know, weeks and weeks with no water, it can get fatal for you because you need water. I mean, I do dry fasting and I'll do a couple of days. I do dry fasting for healing, letting the body repair itself because when I dry fast, I get fast results in repairing, but I still have to come back and rehydrate the body correctly so I won't damage my body because if you go too long without drinking water, your body needs it. What happens is that once your body reserves, your water reserves in your body is gone and you're not hydrated, especially if you're sweating and stuff like that, you start having, you can get, you know, have problems. So water, let water be the main thing for you in healing. Understand the importance of it. And then research just the importance of water. Every plant, every plants won't grow without water. Trees won't grow without water. Nothing grows without water. Animals, even with the animals are Anything 
that's not getting water won't grow and it won't live if you stop taking it because water is part of our life. So if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And also leave a comment. Uh, I'm always trying to learn, so share your information about water and how it's helped you. And this is your boy, AJ, Natural Remedies. I am out. <laughs>